So hello. Um, I so I suggest if it's all right with you that we talk first about the platform. And I, I actually am ready to share Juliet's um, email if you want me to do that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, there, can you see it? I now I can't yes. see. Oh yeah. See either you don't need to see us. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. Oh, yeah. We managed with conference calls for decades. Yeah. Um, so I looked. I brought all these up yesterday and have an opinion. But do either of you have an opinion at this point, or should I open them one by one so we can look at them? Let's discuss them because the, you know they all have Let's their okay. pluses and minuses right. and yeah. Fine. Um, let's, in lieu of taking actual minutes, could we all just each just take notes? I don't yeah. know if we're required to have minutes. I, I'm going to decide we didn't know that, if that's all right. That's fine. <laughs> oh, I need access to look at Google Maps. Yes, that was a problem with that one. Um, okay, fine. You need access to the thing. I did send and a link, which should be. Google. We can look at your Google. Let's do the Google Map last because we can open yeah. yours. Okay, so here we are at, oh, this is WordPress, which Judy adores, right? Isn't this the thing Judy likes? I think she's Judy, used it, yes. The Historical Society website has it. I don't know if she adores it, but it's available and accessible. Right. Every time Judy tells me I can do something easily, my brain shuts down. <laughs> so well, this, um, should I look easy, but. Right. Uh, to be difficult. Um, right. Should I click through this? Yeah. Why not? I mean, I looked at this one, but this is fine. Um, so you want to talk about just the um, uh, aspects of the mapping in these sites? Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. I guess so, because it, it, is your point that we that the way the text is set up is probably a separate issue than the map? Well, I think I think what kind of map and where it does it come from is a, is a right important question to solve. For I mean, to me, design wise, you know, regardless of whatever your content is, right. um, you know what what the map looks like and what it how it's built and how it's presented we should control that. And um, right. there, are, there are better and worse ways to do it. Well, in that case, should we look at the historic maps that are available or, or, or not? Well, the, I don't know, the boundary uh, well, lines are modern ones, so they're not. So well, it, it, just, it just seems to me that we need an amalgam you know, we need to make our own map. I, I just, I keep coming back to that. It's not the easiest thing to do. Um, but, you know, the, the Google Maps and all the, the satellite or aerial photography um, have details in them that maybe we don't need or aren't detailed enough because, you know, half a Waitley just looks like a, a million trees and nothing there. Yeah. Um, and the historic maps, of course, are historic, so they contain things that aren't there anymore or aren't accurate or roads that haven't been built yet. The spelling has changed. No, they're missing roads that haven't been built yet. And, you know, yeah. I mean, they're interesting, but I don't think for, for the kind of thing you're presenting, which is to help people think about the landscape as it is now and the things you can't see, that, that that's useful. Seems like, seems like you might want to bring in an element of an historic map in certain situations. Like you're talking about so-and-so's house that used to be there and you could show the detail from the beers, you know, map that shows the house really was there. But I don't think the whole map of the whole town is what we want. Yeah, and a lot of the maps also require people to pay to have good stuff added to them. So, or if they didn't, if they didn't pay, they might not have gotten their name on, their house might be located, or there might be something on it, but there's not a lot of detail. Mm -hmm. So they're, for the purposes of the time, they were fine. Right. But for our purposes, I'm not sure they're all that, all that helpful. 
Well, they also have people's names on them, which would be distracting and confusing to the modern yeah, that's viewer. Right, especially since they're all Dickinson, Sanderson, and Bardwell. Pretty much. Pretty much, you know, yeah. There are many houses with those names. Um, so, um, there so I, yeah. No, they're a supplement for what we have. I'm not quite sure how to use it yet. Do you guys, do you guys feel reluctant to create our own map? Does that seem? I, I have no, I have no idea how to do that. I do. If you, you know, if if you will make a map. I say, great. <laughs> well, the advantage, I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to do it because it doesn't seem like it needs to be that complicated to me. I don't I think, think we need every topo contour. I don't think, you know. Uh, right. Uh, and we might not We don't need, need to show every building. We don't, you know, right? And, and I agree. And if, if we're, if mm -hmm. all of our, uh, features are by definition historic we don't need to show the names of every street and cul-de-sac in john robleski's you know um subdivision or michowski circle or i mean sorry i don't want to no, take, there, take there, class shots but you know right. but, but the there. fact is there aren't that many streets in this town i mean they're they just aren't. Aren't. They're so actually, it's not that hard yeah. um and we have the locations of the boundaries of the town we have the geographic locations of everything. We do. You're, you're, primarily what we need. I, I was kind of astonished, Alice, uh, Alan, again, that you there are so many cornerstones yes. <laughs> that, that yes. seem very close to one another. Yeah, they used to walk them every year, but uh, they don't yeah. anymore. Yeah. But even, so, so we make a map. That was the Royal We. Yeah. And but we still need one of the something like one of these platforms, don't we? In order to you, you create it as a as a file, a JPEG or whatever it is. I mean, you need you need that whether wherever your map is coming from, it's a file that's imported into this uh, software. Yes, yeah, we still yeah. need the software. Okay, right. Okay, that um, sounds simple. That sounds great. It's just, it's just a picture, is what it is, and yeah. then and then you're you're putting coordinates on top of the picture that are gonna reveal your specific information. Mm -hmm. And you could, depending on what our layers are, and that's another thing to discuss, right? You might wanna slightly alter the map, I guess. Um, I don't know. You mean if our layers were just for example, I'm not proposing this by century. <laughs> Could be by might century. The map, the map might add streets. <laughs> you know, right. Just, yeah, which would require, or, or, or reservoirs, it's, it's you know, or reservoirs. right. There were no reservoirs in 1771. Right. Right. So, Um, no I-91, no, you know, all of that kind of yeah. major, no um, railroad, you know, the railroads came, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and for the roads, Lynn, I had forgotten this, that last fall, Lynn loaned me this massive notebook uh, from a project that got started but was never quite completed, I mean, during Lynn's tenure as town clerk, but yeah. long enough ago, that the notebook had what we called floppy disks in it. Oh yeah. The, the little hard disks. What, what my <laughs> people call floppy disks. The, the, un, the unfloppy <laughs> floppy disks. Um, and it is full of incredible detail about the history of individual roads. Hmm. It, it's, hmm. it, it is not indexed. I mean, for me to pull out the stuff I did about Mother George Road, I just sat and paged through it. It was, you know, endless. <laughs> but it does have information. It might have some index, in fact. I've forgotten. Well, uh, we can make the artwork, per, you know, be the, the value of customizing it is that it will work for exactly what it is we're trying to say. Right. And right. can be added to or, you know, 
changed in the future if that's what needs to happen. If a, if a, if a meteorite lands and knocks out West Waitley, you know, we can change our map, you know, and scrub them out. Right. It's funny that you say that because I was just thinking about neighborhoods because, of course, in the 18th and I think early 19th century, there were neighborhoods like Egypt and the oh, streets. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And ones, ones I don't know about. Um, and I don't know when East Waitley, West Waitley became... Uh, when that terminology was used. That may be a state of mind, Donna. That may not be a moment in, you know, a moment right, yeah. on a calendar. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> right. But I think you could at least start by looking at the crafts and cane yeah. histories and just do a find and see when the phrases started being used. So, yeah. you know, this is okay. Well, the last survey did describe a lot of neighborhoods that might have existed around the turn of the 19th, 20th century, somewhere in there. I don't know how old they are. A lot of the names seem to be pretty late 1800s. Uh, or, yeah, 1800s. Into early um, 1900s. Well, the, the Egypt and the Straits definitely shows up in 18th century, hmm. okay. in the 1700s. Um, and then, of course, before that, you'd have to go to Hatfield. Yeah, you know some of the neighborhoods we appropriated from Hatfield. <laughs> they they pre-existed. When they built houses. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. So with that, should we look at the different uh, platforms? Yeah. Well, I guess we need to do that eventually. Sure. Yeah. All right. So here we are. This is the. Uh, whatever it's called. WordPress one, yeah. WordPress, excuse me. And I, oh, I see, and there's the map part of it. Hmm. I don't know if it's the execution or the actual program, but I find the blurred out stuff. I, I just think this is really hard to read. Well, they put gray type on top of gray background. That's not very legible. Yeah. Right. But it doesn't have to be that way. It's better than white type. It's a little sharper. It could be made. I mean, the legibility thing, that's a design. That's not the platform. That's the designer. Okay. I understand. Um, I don't know. Uh, one of the things that this doesn't seem to allow and I, I, I don't know if it does, but um, it doesn't seem to, uh, when I was just playing yesterday with the one little tiny piece of work I was doing, I was thinking, well, some of the links will be to a photograph or, or a clip from text, but some of them might be to another entry. And I couldn't see that this one would let you flip to another entry. Hmm. Um, but I don't know if it's the example or the way I looked at it, you know. Well, this shows you one formatting way to have an overarching statement, you know, about what your layer might be. Um, you right. know, that's one of the things we need to discuss is how to separate, how to present this information. So right. whether it's by century or by event or by color, you know, whatever it right. is. This lets you write it, write and present an introduction that's adjacent to your map. Right. And um, we, we're, we're gonna need that, I think. Yeah. Unless we're just titling things with just a title that says cornerstones. Yeah. Right. The end. So another thing I didn't like about this, and again, I don't know if it's this execution or the program, I hated that you have to use the scroll bar to see the whole page. Yeah, yeah. I just think yeah. that's really sloppy. Yeah. Um, uh, so, okay, I'm gonna go to another one. Yeah, go to another one. Yeah. Oh, shoot, wait, how do I go to another one? I have to go back, uh, here we go, right. Okay, 98, Joseph Treat Explores Maine. Uh, so this is the canoe trip. Yeah. This, the canoe trip. this has the same thing, you know, the, the other thing that's not, I hate about this kind of design is that as a, 
as a user, if you want to print something from a page, you sometimes you can't print it, you know, because right. Sometimes you can it's it beyond the, the viewport. So um, okay, let's see what else we do. I, I like the I like the way it um, enlarged the section. Mm -hmm. And it shows you the journal entry for that. Oh, interesting. Right. I, yeah, so the those. journal. Yes, there's the journal entry, which is his map, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Flip map. What is flip, flip map? Oh, dear. Flip map is what it sounds like. Okay, I can't figure out how to go back. Close. All right. Yeah. Do you want to keep looking at more of them? Yeah, I'll keep going. A, a lot of them seem to require some sort of proprietary program behind them that you have to ask permission to use. Uh, that was the case of the Urban Archive one, probably with this one as well. I'm not sure how much, and this may be public domain stuff, but I'm not sure how we get at it to the math impression of the uh, of the owners of the sites. I don't know. Here's he, so here's a layers option. Oh, okay. So that's two different maps. Allison, did you see me? Did you see me um, switch the layers? Of the map. No, I'm sorry. I had to get up and turn the power on to recharge my computer. I missed it. Oh, okay. So here's the historic one. I just found this thing and then present oh. day. Oh. Okay. Oh. Go back. Huh. Really? That doesn't seem to jive, does it? Um, it seems like a lot of water is dried up. If they're not to yeah. scale or something. They're not something, the same scale. Something. Something's very confusing about that. Yes, that's, yeah, I think that's but again, that's we have to tinker with, but. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very strange, isn't it? Yeah, well, let's not spend our time trying to reconcile that. Let's just talk that up. It's confusing. Now, is the text, sorry, did the text change when I changed that? Yes, it did, didn't it? Hmm. it did. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. I'm so distracted by the slider bar. I can't, I can't get. To, I well, can't get you yeah, know, I don't really care about the slider that bar. That one looks no, more but, but it it kind of reinforces this idea that there can be too much to say, you know, and right. depending on what your platform is, you may not want to make people work that hard to get through it all. Right, right, right. Agreed. Mm -hmm. It's one of our yeah, they're trying to do a lot here. They they got a lot going on. I like the journal entry because he's showing practically the scale. Yeah. Well, and, it's, <laughs> and the drawings are so nice, you know. Um, okay, so that was Joseph Tree. Tree, yeah. This is Urban Archive. Which is obviously paying for itself in part with advertisements. Yeah. And um, representing a really complex environment. Well, the fact that the example she sent us is Manhattan. You know, yeah. So, you know, yeah. There are only about um, five examples of, that are available in this platform. So, so I the went. Ones where you have to ask for permission to use the software behind it. I'm not quite sure what that is. Where Where did you see that, um, Alan? Somewhere in the, there was a help. Well. Um, in Urban Archive? Because I, yeah, I. In the about. I want to go to the urban. You can download their software to view things, but not so much to create it. They, they create stuff. So that's very interesting because I, I liked Urban Archive and I went and do? looked at their software. And 
and they just so I'm going to try to find it because okay. they describe themselves as free. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've got their iOS app. The, they have a, an Apple app, I think. And there's probably Shoot. a web thing somewhere now behind I, it. Okay, now this is, this is frustrating because yesterday I found, I mean, I'm just bringing up the same thing, obviously. Yeah. Yesterday I found, an actual description which I assume I did the same way I just tried to do. No, that is no good. Mission projects. Here we go again with Manhattan. Yeah, they've got five different places. New York City, Albany, New York, Ogden, Utah, New Newbury, New York, and somewhere in Columbia. All of which are map based. Columbia, like you know, here, okay, here's what I found. Here, now I've got it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, about, I think we would be in about. I read all about the five or six people who run this thing. Yes, Cali, Columbia. <laughs> I think this was it. Urban Archives map is made up of purple and gray location dots. I found that it is free, but it may that, well be. Pardon? It may well be. But that they sell um, services like training on how to use it. Huh. And there was, I, I'm really sorry that I didn't keep this. So I thought, I found this so easily yesterday. It's $250 for them to train, train a group of people how to use their platform. Mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. I will just ask you to take that on faith <laughs> yeah. Yeah. rather than continuing to screw around with their website. Um, Photographs are sourced from digital collections. Okay, well, that's fine. I guess the question is if they are really designed to work with city maps, are they correct for us? Yeah. Well, it's a little distracting that it's a city map because to me that it's so different from what we're talking about. Right. Um, but, but you can kind of put your... Mike can't see it on the screen now, of course, but I'm sorry, I will find what it, it. What it does do is it it gives you that total bird's eye, straight down view of the geography, right? Um, you know, with a street system and water, and you know, which is we have that too, just not so much. Yeah. Um, a lot less detail for us, which might be useful. Yeah, you know, but. I can imagine this working for us. Um, we'd get the whole town probably on into this frame at this scale. Yeah, well, the whole town is 20 square miles and I can't remember, I used to know what the size of Manhattan. It's bigger than 20 square miles. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then our well, lower, lower Manhattan is probably 20 square miles because that's but, just- But, you know, when I, when I look at this, what I see is they've used very subtle colors to shade public parks versus water right. features. I don't understand why some things are dark and some things are paler, but it must mean yeah. something. Uh, those the, are high, those are things that, that are active. Yeah. yeah. Or the dark sorry, or gray. They have photographs of them or something. Yeah. It's worse instead of better, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make me throw up. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> I would get through this project without murdering each other. Right? Software by uh, how upset um, it makes our viewers. You know, but it's 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 an attractive presentation of that, and it's sure they create so they created this sort of washed out 
palette, which is interesting. And then, and then the highlights really jump because you got a bright red dot that, that lights right. up for you when you okay. hit it. Right, and somewhere you had purple too. Oh, the Cosmopolitan Club, I used to stay there. But you see that you know, Central Park is green and there's some other green spaces that must be public land, you know, it means something. Right, right. Um, right. Oh, there is the purple. But there's no, there's no topography indicated on here. And that's a question for us, whether we want to somehow indicate hills yeah, we might. And how do we do that? You know, um, I'm thinking that after we go through these, that maybe we should divide up the ones that we think might have potential for us, and one of us should contact <laughs> each of them yeah. to ask the questions we have. Hmm. Does that make sense? Um, Mike, okay. Yeah. Okay, urban archive. And we don't know this, the other one, the main one, sorry, here it is, I left it up. I didn't, Juliet, tell us she designed this? Yeah, she had something to do with this. Mm -hmm. So she's, okay. I believe, that, I, I believe she did, yeah. That's how she knew about it, because otherwise it's kind of an obscure. Right, right. And, you, and we can't see what the platform is, I believe. There's something, here it is. The platform is open street map. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. For, a, for a site that has absolutely no streets. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, very few anyway, yeah. Well, John Treat, this, he didn't travel on any streets. He just traveled there on. Are, there are open street map maps for Waitley, so. Uh, okay. Are there? Oh yeah, it's a public source thing. It's, it's worldwide. Yes, I'm reading about this. I'm reading about oh, what you're saying. That would be interesting. That would be interesting to see. Okay. Openstreetmap.org. Okay. Yeah. Um, back to the. They are one of the possibilities, actually. Yes, I think they are. History pin. I think I may also have liked this one. Although I hate their logo. Just like. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, funny. I wonder how that happened. I've, uh, I've already know? subjected Allison what, to what was the meeting? Right. What was the meeting everybody sat people. around and, just, and decided that that's the color they're going to use? Huh? You mean that? Magenta, rose, whatever. whatever. It, it, there, there must be a story behind that somehow. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, Maybe this is the one I'm remembering that is free. It looks like it's based on Google Maps, but it, it does. Um, Should we go to about for a moment <laughs> just to see? Sure. Uh, this is the one. I'm sorry. This is the one that's free. I now remember this. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh, where did I get, what would I, okay. Should I scroll down slightly? Yeah, they have a services list so that they will help. Yeah, I, we should go to that after we've looked at this and mm. Okay, services list. Where the hell is it? <laughs> there it is. I love that click the same thing twice approach. <laughs> For God's sakes. Um, <laughs> advanced project. See, I wonder if you're stuck with their map art system, whatever that is. Yeah. And Might can't be. I want and and I wonder. Right. 
this must be what I was, what I remembered as a training session <laughs> for $250. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back to their map, okay? Mm -hmm. But they, so they are designed, you know, the cultural organizations are there, which I guess we are, are there. It just, the, the, this makes me crazy, this, this map. It looks like someone took the Scrabble, so, Scrabble game and dumped the letters out on the, on the table to me. Yeah, it's so a subway cool. map. It, it's crazy it's making. It's a subway map. That's what it is. Well, yes and no. It's got a FedEx office and yeah, Saint so Anne's so School. So does the subway map has lots a, of stuff on it online. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe you're right. Maybe it also has this Google stuff because why are they giving us restaurants? Well, it's got see oh. the type is outlined in white. It's it's just it's not it's not very um, clean. It's really it looks like the flyer from Stop and Shop Easter specials or something. I, you like it that much? Yeah, I like it that much, yeah. Huh. I don't even know, I don't even know how I just did what. You hit the I mean, we went two. from central Manhattan. So you're, you're to see, they, they want you to find those green circles on there, but see, you, you couldn't even tell that that was what you're hunting for. Right. Yeah, this, so I thought it was, yeah, one. See? One. And it's I like was, an Easter egg hunt. Was, this is for a modern audience that likes just goofing around, right? I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ah! Oh well. Got a couple yeah. of number twos. What does that mean? The two train and the three train. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I guess it's the same street. It's the same same stop. But see, I can't find stuff because I'm too busy. I'm too distracted by the Chipotle grill. Yeah. <laughs> and Starbucks. And I was just thinking that it's really it. sad. It, well, actually, these aren't real restaurants. They're all um, chains, but so many of them are probably closed. And doctors' offices. These are people who paid to have yes, ads. Yes, right, exactly. Well, you know, we could do that too. We could subsidize our site by putting the Waitley businesses on it. Tom's. Mm. Okay, are we are we keeping history pin on the list of things we're exploring? Well, there may be other reasons you find this site useful. I you know I can't get I just, I just can't get out. What happened there? I clicked and made a, a big <laughs> mess. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. All I did was clear. Your pins exploded. <laughs> What does that mean? Maybe it's I think if I was, See, if I, this, I was is, this, is an, this is a flunk. If we have to sit here and go, what does that even mean? That's not a good sign. All right. I want to look more closely at it, but right now, I don't know. Okay. I, I, I don't know whether we're looking at history pin or not. I'm... Uh, Thought Company. Botco. Oh, that's an overlay device. I see. Okay. Is that something we should be looking at? I don't not? know. Maybe. <sighs> Historic map works. Scotland Historic <laughs> Map works. Historic so do they? Do they provide the service then? Is that the, ah, uh, yes, there's a cart. Um, Residential yeah. genealogy. Hmm. Well, this is in point four type. Um, Well, this is like a separate thing. If you wanted to create a, 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 an element right. that showed right. the generations of Waitley maps kind of overlaying each other to express some kind of development or change or 
whatever. I'm not sure that's your first priority. No. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Some other map platforms that we didn't look at. So is there anything else we want to look at in this? Now, Rumsey was listed elsewhere. What was? Rumsey, David Rumsey map collection. They were listed elsewhere separately, I think, on the or, or Rumsey or Ramsey, which one it was. The map collection archive, I think. He has over 120 historical <laughs> historic maps. Um, I don't, I, I mean, I don't think we need other people's historic maps. If we no. want to use no. a historic map as a layer, we have the 11 maps that exist, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm quitting this one. Those. Um, this is one of them. This is someone who wants to sell us one of them for $25. Yeah. Oh, here, here is the Ramsey map. It's Ramsey of Manhattan. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Did I ever tell you, either of you, that someone in my family owned a farm on 42nd Street? No. Oh. This is a very, very poor side of my family. Very poor. I became deeply interested in exactly where on 42nd Street we owned property, but we don't seem to know that. If I ever go to Manhattan to do some research, I will try to figure that out. All right, where does this leave us? Huh. Nope. Hmm. The three that we hesitated on briefly are Urban Archive, Open Street Map, and History Pin, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Who, who was behind the Open Street Map? Was that Urban Archive or was that somebody else? So, no, it's the main, the main map is Open Street Map. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you didn't like the slider feature for the intro information well, we don't have to use it well and, and as, you, as you say we don't know if if that's, that's the function that the page design yeah. didn't offer enough space for a text we don't know whether that's a fixed feature or yeah. a design I, feature right well, i guess it's a design feature it looks like there are three or four elements on the page that could be Buried in size. So, I don't know. So we want to know for the various sites whether they require that we use their map as the background, right? Right. What else do we want to know? Well, I'm a little confused, you know, I, I'm, I'm, without knowing what the potential for these sites are, I'm, I'm kind of going by what these particular uses are, you know, and in some ways, this setup makes sense to me for what we're doing because it allows you to, I mean, th this is their artwork that Juliet made, you know, on the, on the right. Mm -hmm. This doesn't have the layers we're talking about, you know, so I'm not sure how we think about the option for how to present our layers. Right. Because you're still you're still wanting to do that, right? You're not going to put all your dots on one map. I don't think so. And, and so it, it, at least this iteration appears to allow a, a text linked to a pin and one other reference point which is this uh, a visual another visual yeah so it doesn't allow what i was imagining which means nothing you know late last night for me which is multiple clicks to different mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so we don't know if it would allow that or not right yeah 
you want to take a look at mine to see what how yeah. you might expand that? Yeah, oh, sorry, I'm good. sorry. Um, I'm not super at this screen share thing. Oh, God. All right. Uh, Cardinal. Did you just send that? Because I hadn't seen that come in. Yeah, it just yes. came out. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't had a chance to look so, at it. Oh, cool. So this, the, yeah, it's pretty minimal. It doesn't have any of my favorite spots, which is fine. It doesn't have any what? Any of my favorite spots. I mean, I have lots of oh. stuff on my own Google Maps. Yeah. So if you click on one of the uh, balloons, you get a, um, you should get, yeah, a description. Yeah. That's, um, that's what I've done so far. It starts with a spreadsheet, and I've got the a geographic mm -hmm. location of these things. And for some of them, I have a uh, uh, a GPS location, which is almost always pretty much the same as the, um, the latitude longitude that the state provides. So mm. my GPS is mostly accurate, but it's a little crowded. I'm not sure if how much choice I have over the uh, little blue balloons, but. Uh, you mean what the pins look like? Yeah, I think there is some control over that, but I'm not quite sure what. Uh -huh. But this is this is the minimalist uh, view of things. It's interesting because there are some corners that, like this one, if I can get it to come up, that I I didn't realize Waitley went all the way to the edge of the bridge. <laughs> oh so, yes, it does. Sure. Just yeah. below the bridge. Yeah. There's so. A, it, so this just for the sewage treatment plant. Oh, so this part is complicated, right? Yeah, that's the uh, the Conway Deerfield lines there. So, could could you could one use could one do something this easy to look at? that sat on a designed map rather than a Google map? I don't know the answer. See, this is where you lose me because I don't know the answer to that. I'm yeah. not sure. I mean, uh, technically it should be possible, you know, I, but I don't know if that's an yeah, easy I haven't thing. Tried. There is a way of outlining boundaries. Um, well, that's the thing that's missing yeah. from this map are the town, is the town lines. Yeah. And I think that can be done, but I'm not sure exactly how. I have to figure that out. But you think in Google Maps you can do yeah, that? Yeah, I think so. I need to okay. figure out how to do it. But I'm not exactly sure at the moment, but it should and, be possible. And how? In so I've only used Google. I mean, I haven't ever set anything up in Google Maps. Could could you? Um, develop an introduction to the topic that took you to this or is it is this what you have right because this is the problem you're going to need a home page that explains this project yeah. and what is, what what, what the opportunities are you know and why you'd want to visit here then you're going to need below that your sort of level you know your secondary level of categories whatever they are and then within those categories your maps and your So right. We could, we could start sort of hierarchical page. Something like that might work in in WordPress. I'm not sure we'd even need the the WordPress plugins that I haven't figured out how to install yet that allow you to place little dots on a map like this. This would be possible, I think, at OpenStreetMap as well, because they have the boundaries of the town as well. Um, mm -hmm. Not sure exactly how, but I have, a, well, I have access to it, but beyond that, <laughs> I yeah, don't know yeah. how to do it. Yeah. Okay. I loved your descriptions. <laughs> direct from the uh, direct from the uh, atlas. <laughs> from the atlas on the westerly edge of an old bed of a brook. Um, yeah, a lot of the descriptions are from 1910 or even earlier so mm. right 
but right. the town's boundaries haven't changed, I think, since the 1930s. So that was... Really? They have changed or have not? I don't think the, the actual town boundaries have not changed since about the 1930s. It was, I forget what the reason was. It was somewhere in the back, I had this giant. Did you, did you both read about um, the place where the boundary between Belgium and France changed by seven feet? Yes, I did. Because, Allison, you didn't see this. It's yeah. a, Somebody a, moved a the farmer, boundary marker. A, a farmer found that the granite marker was uh, in the way of his mowing. Sure. So he just moved the marker and it is now an international, you know, the EU commission is stopping everything else yep. to deal with the boundary. <laughs> it's, it's really, the guy is great. I saw an interview with the guy. I'm sure that's not the only one that's been moved either. Yeah. But it just happened. I mean, it's, it's, it's a yeah, really nice story. Funny. And he speaks Flemish, which must make the French crazy. <laughs> but, um, all right. I don't know what to do now. Right. Uh, I, I mean, I could see deciding that among open, well, so we could ask Juliet about open street map, right? Or we could just call them ourselves. I could see dividing up urban archive, history pin, and open street map and deciding one of us will call each of them <laughs> and try to get a sense yeah. of what's possible. And if they, um, I don't know what to do about Google map. I mean, I don't know how you communicate with Google. Uh, it's uh, right. I don't think you. You don't yeah. directly. Um, no. They provide lots of videos and instructional things to right. let you do it all yourself. But um, Right. You can do it. It's one of those you can do anything. Or you can hire somebody to help you out with it. I mean, another thing which might be the wussy thing to do would be to continue talking about what we want to do and then bring Juliet back. I don't think that's wussy at all because I think we no. should talk about what we want to do and then maybe she can help us find the right pair of shoes, you know, for what we want right. to do. Yeah. Right. We've got half a dozen projects, all of which seem to be based on maps somehow. Right. So, I mean, right. Maybe it's just a simple web page that points to different ways of looking at the same maps or something like that. Or different maps, even. Okay, I I and think that's time. good. Um, what do you mean? What do you mean a half a dozen projects, Alan? What are you saying? We we have we have hidden history projects. Mine is one. I have one. Okay, I didn't think I, I thought the hidden history was the project, and then we that, had that is the overall within it. Okay. There are a bunch of subtasks. Right. And okay. One of them is the town boundaries. One of right. them is Shays Rebellion homes. Right. Uh, Donna has one or two. Right. 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 Things like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, so topics, really, or, or yeah. within, within the overall project. In distillery or, or whatever. And, and that's how you see organizing this. If you're talking about your layers, you know, or your pages, that's that's your vision of how to how to that's present the way. information. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, although I do like this idea of, you know, assuming we get to the point where we have enough content that this would be appealing, of clicking by century and having new things come up. Um, well, or by topic, Donna, you know, for example, the 250th anniversary of the revolution is coming up, right? In a few right. years. Yep. And you might want to have a layer or a page or whatever it is that has those kind of relevant, and it may be the same information that's on the other, already on the other pages. Sure. You know, sure. and just reshuffled to, be present, you know, you could have a page of things that are green, you know, you could have that page and you're just re shuffling your, your cards to make a new poker hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yes. That makes I mean, sense. part of it is, is you want to think about how you're presenting this to the public because you do want people to look at this right. and there's different ways of titling it and, um, that could be more or less engaging. Right. So you might have, you know, businesses in Waitley. 
I mean, for example, you might have transportation. Well, or you could call it, you know, mysteries in Waitley. You know what I mean? I mean you could have, you know, Waitley disasters. I don't know. You yeah. know, uh, that's a little more. Exist, yeah. yeah I, I, hidden history is, is kind of sexy because it sounds a little mysterious. And I think that that's engaging because you feel like you're going to find out secrets, you know. Yeah. That not everybody knows. And that came in part from our, we don't want to just do the milk bottle and the stockade monument and the pound, you know? Well, so, you well, I, I guess I, I would back up even further and think, I mean, what overall is the point of this? The, is it overall to try to get people to engage in history as a way of, of giving them a new perspective on where they live and the people that they live with? Is that the big picture? Um, yeah. Well, if it's not, no, what, what would you say? Well, I would say that we got bullied into this by Susan Barron, who's about the gentlest bully in the world. <laughs> she just kept saying, can't the Historical Commission do anything for the 250th? Well, and, I mean, you know. Alan will know this, and I said, 200 times, if we do something, I want it to be something that lasts, not right. followers no. or parade. Well, I think clearly you're thinking about it as a as an ongoing thing right. that, you know, we'll add to and have new ideas for. And um, if it's for the anniversary, shouldn't it be focused on, I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's, I, I don't want it, at least myself, to be all about 1771. I don't, we've missed the boat, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, it, it, right, we, as far as it being about the... Um, uh, this is more than the 250th now. I mean, right. Right. right, they're trying to pretend like it's really not that 2022 is the anniversary, but, you know, let's be honest, that's just not going to, it's not going to float. Is it true that poor Hatfield had to have their delayed 350th parade in the pouring rain? Yeah. Yeah. That's actually it's sad. Cursed, it cursed all around. Yeah. Sad, sad, sad. Poor Hatfield. Um, they probably had fun doing it. Not yeah. The 300th, not the 350th, but maybe. Well, anyway. It doesn't matter, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I think I think you don't have to. I, I think you should abandon feeling bullied to do something for the two hundred fiftieth because it's I, I it's almost over. Yeah, no, no, no. I I have I have I actually think this could be interesting, and I don't. You know, who is the audience? I haven't actually thought of the audience as being Waitley residents exclusively. Well, no, I I don't mean that, but you know, I've, yeah. I, I think it might help inform some of our decisions if we can keep clear in front of us, what's the greater, why are we investing our time in this? What's the greater good that's supposed to come out of this besides have Susan will shut up and stop bothering you? Yeah, I, and I, I'm sorry, I didn't really, I wasn't being serious about that. No, now. but you know what I mean? There, there's there's yeah. gotta be a bigger picture. Right, right, um, right. And and the the bigger picture picture is partly um, some pride in the town's history. I think it might be a wish to have more residents of the town understand a little bit of its history. Um, mm -hmm. And I guess I'm thinking more about people who move here. Well, I don't know. I mean, the people who whose families have lived here forever might not know much about it. Um, I don't think they're any more likely to know about it than anybody else. You're right. I think you're no, right. They're all pretty much people. Like, <laughs> you know, like they make up their own stories about the town. Yeah. Alan, I don't know if you've heard Allison's story about mentioning that it would be interesting to have a program about slavery in Waitley, you know, as one of a number of programs. And was it Keith? Yeah. Was it Keith, Allison, yeah, who yeah. said... He says, says, I think most people just think that's something that happened in the South. Right. And I think he was, he was accurate. In that. Probably <laughs> true. But yeah. there, there probably were slaves in town. Oh, there were. There absolutely, we know there were. So yeah. any, that's a whole other story. No, okay. but I, and to your point that it's not just about new residents. So I think um, 
<laughs> yeah, we, we might even want to contact the Nalabika people um, to find out a bit more about our native history, which um, so I'm suspicious maybe, of them, but that's... <laughs> right. So maybe another thing we should do besides bringing Juliet back, and I, unless, if one of you wants to do this, I'm perfectly happy, but I would be willing to take a stab at putting together notes for Juliet based on the conversation we've had, that we have had, the three of us just now, and run them past you both yeah. to, you know, for editing. Because I, I don't want to, I don't want to bring her back and start at the beginning. <laughs> no. Yeah. no, 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 uh, no. I think I think we can have clothes. a better conversation with her now that we've looked at some of these things. And but <sighs> right. And you have enough material that you feel like you could start this this ship, you know, off out of the dock here. Right. Because the other thing I was going to suggest is that um, we have that initial really rough list of possible topics. Yeah, let's and Alan, get that together. A couple. I think um, having each, I don't think we're gonna get anything from Susan or Judy on this. Um, and I don't mean that negatively. I think it's just a fact that I think sharing that again and having each of us say, you know, between now and a year from now, I'm sure I could draft something you know, for your improvement um, on these topics and see what they look like. Um, I think that might help us. I'm, I'm really repeating what you said, Allison, having some a, a more specific sense of the topics we think we would uh, address might help us think about organizational structure, at least as a start. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, and I think I think having a better sense of kind of what 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 the overall purpose and who you, you know why you're trying to reach people will help you make choices about what topics you might pursue or what you feel like is missing or right. right. Okay. Um so I will draft something up. And, and send it to both of you. Okay. Um, and we've talked about Alan's a little bit. It's new. Do you want to talk about what I sent you or not? Uh, yeah, Mother George, you mean? Too. Uh. About Mother George. I can't find it. It was in the bottom of my email. Um. I might have already moved it to hidden history. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yes, I haven't, I haven't downloaded your document yet. Please move this window away from the shared application. What the hell does that mean? We just see a blank gray square. Ah! Now we're gray. That is so, oh, 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 sorry. Can you see what I just brought up? No, nope. it's gray. Oh, crap. I hate Zoom. I can't wait until we can sit around a this table. Must be part of the hidden history here. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. I'm really sick of this silliness. And I okay. can bring up my own copy of it, I think. Oh, I see yours now. You know what I learned yesterday? Did either, <laughs> were either of you told years and years ago that corduroy is an anglicization of Cour du Roi, the road of the king? I've no? heard it. You, yes, I've heard that. Well, I checked with Miriam Webster and it is a fantastic notion. That's what Miriam <laughs> Webster said. <laughs> okay. okay. So I was thinking, as, you, as I've already said, of a text that had embedded links to images. So a yeah. different, I mean, the, the interesting thing to me is not whether this is good or not, because you can tell me some other time, but that you and I were thinking of a different shape 
Al into our material. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean, this could work too. Is I mean, the homepage with a, a link to your document, which has embedded links, is not that different than what I was thinking about. I don't think. Right. Uh, links to photographs and all the rest of it. It right. doesn't all have to go to a map. Because Mother George Road is hard to put in the map because it doesn't really exist anymore. No, that's why we're making our map. We need to yeah. place it on our map. What is going on? Oh, good, yeah. Have I lost you? No. 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 It is telling me to sign in again as the town administrator. Oh, because our, our time oh, yeah. is up. No, an hour, she gave me 11, 11 to 1. Oh. <sighs> you could ignore it. Uh, but, like but you're not members. seeing anything now, are you? Nope. Yeah, we're seeing your no, mother no. George email. You are? Yeah. Yep. What the heck that is. Probably um, to you, but... Um, I've seen the mother George email, but not the text. Okay, well, we yep. don't have to talk about the text now. Um, well, we have the text. You know, we can look at it in our own no. email. Right. Right. Um, did it seem generally like an okay approach? <laughs> you, you may say no, it is fine. <laughs> yeah, totally. Fine, yeah. Okay, okay. There really are rocks, there really are boulders that are in a straighter line in our woods than nature would have left them. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, um, and it's a shame that the fort has, the fort has washed out just, it was there more clearly last year. Isn't that sad? Yeah. Yeah. But the Gracie photograph was, it was pretty good, I thought. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So I'm going to write up some notes. You will both improve them. Should we each try to come up with, I don't know, five topics that we would deal with in the next year? Mm -hmm. This is where five more besides, besides. What do you mean, topics? Like entries. Oh, entries. Uh, well, entries, there's the entries. overarching topics like entries. old houses, you know. Yeah. Entries, okay. entries. Yeah. This is where you and Darcy and I started about 18 months ago, isn't it, Alan? Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah. Well, I guess I guess I'm still wondering about this layer idea um, and how to organize entries and around a topic that is, has, you know, some kind of engagement factor for the public and how that might be titled and how that's organized. Cause, because I don't think you can have a layer with one thing in it that seems a little anemic. Right. And, right. and I think these topics need to somehow. Sorry. That's okay. It's someone calling to send me, sell me Medicare related services, I'm oh, sure. Lord. Look, you can look forward to this, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> am I right, Alan? Or, or, or the person who says, I am calling from your credit card company. Yeah, you no, I get those. Old, I get all of them. Old person, I am trying to snooker you. <laughs> yeah. Locked a lot of calls. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is, to me, this is the interesting part of, you know, this project is kind of crafting what, how the content, what the content is and how it's organized. And what we want to tell people. Yeah. And, you know, do we, do we link it to, you know, as I say, current events or other, other upcoming anniversary things, you know, as a way to kind of seem contemporary and current? Um, I uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of interest in that, or, you know, not that the American Revolution is my favorite thing, but all that's going to be just like the bicentennial, you know, it's going to, it's going to come up and people are going to be seeing news about it all over the place. And it may make people curious about what went on in this town. Right. Yeah. Um, and we have, we have Derricka's good research on Shays Rebellion, but I don't know how much research there is on what happened 
in the American Revolution here. I mean, we have in the back of the town histories, I'm waving because I have the books on my desk. Right, yeah, we have have lists and lists. lists. Yep. Um, But but I should tell you both, um, if you don't know this, um, having worked with the um, veterans here to make their application for CPA funding for their park, fundable (laughs) to make the application fundable Um, in the course of that um, the historical society has unearthed the names of over 300 servicemen between the French and Indian war and world war II who are not on the existing memorial so so the proposal we'll vote on a town meeting includes um making smaller stones to add all those names. As <laughs> agenda, names. agenda rocks. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's actually the way apparently it's usually done. Too, too many words. I, I yes. no, no, you, know, you know what they need to be called? Glacial errata. I mean, actually, I don't know what they're going to be called. Um, but... Um, it's better than putting tiny little brass things yeah, on top yeah. of a yeah. bronze clock, you know, that then fall off. Yeah. Well, see, there's different ways that, let's just take the, the revolution as an example, okay? Because there's different ways that that could be done. There's no there's no battle sites in town, so we're not going to be doing that. But we do have lists of people who were involved in whatever ways they were involved. And, you know, some of those people can be located on a map because we know where they lived. Oh, and, and with the with the work Derek is doing on house histories now, they can be located much. Yeah, and and do we have to put them all? No, you know, we, nobody wants to know all of them, but we could find stories for half a dozen of them that are, you know, this guy went off to the Lexington Alarm, you know, took him three days to walk over there, you know, stayed for two days, came home, you know, um, you know, some small story like that about what their participants, if we, if we can find out, this guy was at, you know, Ticonderoga, this guy was at Valley Forge, this guy deserted and ran to Canada. I don't know, you know. I, 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 um, I have been thinking about this more as a organized more about sites and structures than about groups of people, uh, just setting aside the Shays Rebellion folks. Yeah, for a yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think it's- I see what I you think, mean. I think it's because the historical commission's responsibilities have to do with preservation of sites and structures. Right. Not about the town's history. Right. With, which, I mean, of course they intersect. Of course they intersect. The historical society's responsibility. The historical society has has, right, um, but you're trying to make you're trying to make this history palatable and in, entertaining for the public, and that means there need to be stories. You can't just have a picture. Here's a rock. Here's its latitude and longitude. That's not enough of a story. Right, which is why in the one thing I've worked on with Mother George Road, the story, I mean, the right. things that are interesting to me. Well, right. first of all, and it took me a long time to figure this out that the reason I couldn't find it on any of the maps is that neither of the towns ever accepted it, which meant taking on the responsibility of keeping the road, maintaining the road, which is um, about 75% of the entries of town meetings and, and the town's annual reports for a long period of time is about road maintenance. It's right, really, and those and really interesting. <laughs> but some of those stories are are good. You know, I went through what's his name, Zabina Bartlett's account book in the historical society has sitting on its counter. I wasn't thinking about roads, but I did notice there are entries in there where he took the day off to go work on the road crew, right, you know, on Pantry yeah. Road, and it's and he got paid three shillings or whatever he got paid. Right. You know, and that's just kind of an interesting little anecdote that people were enlisted from town to go work on roads when those were a thing that needed building. But, and that's, I think that's enough of a story. Right. Because all you'd have to do is link to, you know, Road. Is the, the book you're talking about is handwritten. Yep. 
So you could have a photograph of the you page. You could, right? Or you could transcribe it. Yep. On, on April 3rd, 1864, you know, Sabina Bartlett sent two guys, you know, down with their wooden shovels down to help dig out Pantry Road. I don't know. You could have, and you could have a photograph of some guys working on a road. It Maybe. doesn't have to be yep. the right or, guy. You right. could have a photograph of what Pantry Road but looks if, like. Right. If you live in Waitley, you know where Pantry Road is. And it's just kind of an interesting thing to think about. Yeah. And okay. digging the, and draining the swamp and all those kinds of things. He has notes about that in there, too. But you could go through that whole account book with a different lens thinking, all right, I'm looking for information about road building in town. You know, now I'm looking for information about what women did. Now I'm looking for information about apples. You know, whatever your, your filter is, there's stuff to be found there. You're reminding me of how much time I spent going through 18th century, uh, sorry, microfiches of 18th century pamphlets for my dissertation. And at a certain point I decided these are so, oh, and they were in French. They're, they're so hard to read and there were so many thousands of them. I will only be looking at the ones that were print typeset because the handwritten ones are killing me. You know? yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yes. Um, but well, anyway, we're talking my, about how so, to, so how to choose future, future information. And, and, and I, I guess I'm just reminding you about, you wanna be able to sell this. So. Right. So I suggest we do three things. <laughs> the first I've already said, I'll write up some notes. You two will yeah. edit them. Um, I will reach out to Juliet just because I want to get Lynn to draw another, spend a check for our second hundred dollars that we haven't spent Ooh, yet. Yeah. Yeah. Wild well, times. Open. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and, I think we should each do some thinking about topics yeah. or entries, excuse me, or topics and entries now that we've defined them differently, right? Well, yeah. that's just how my brain wants to think about it. That doesn't or mean it's- or, or layers, it's really layers and entries, right? Yeah. I, I will find the piece of paper on which I'm making notes. And I, I mean, you suggested at the beginning of the meeting, you know, a century kind of device to apply. I mean, that that's another way to do it. You know, I don't know if that makes the best sense, but that is a way to divide the stuff up. Right. And I bet we haven't thought at all about making any entries for the 20th century. Not yet. But I bet we I bet we, we would have to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but if we were talking about road building, you might put I-91 in there. I don't know. You know, there's things that oh, yeah. could be done. No, there are things. And, you know, to the, um, if you were really doing Waitley history, you'd have to use those photographs of the leading, the leaders of the town, you know, in blackface. On the How did that come into your mind? Just it, about... <laughs> Because from the time I first saw it, I was so horrified. Yes, I've seen <laughs> you know, the, menstrual, the menstrual show picture. You know, yeah. I thought I had moved to Massachusetts. <laughs> so it's, Surprise. Um, it's all over England, too. And, and exactly. And just thinking about yeah. 20th century, you know, TV show obviously, you know. Well, it was uh, a mainstream entertainment device, you know, yeah. the whole genre. It was indeed. Um so, and I think we should meet again. Could we meet again? Sure. Yeah, why not? Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have a Monday, or is it historical commission meets the Monday? The historical commission is meeting Monday, and I'll send you the. I I have the agenda yeah. from Amy. Um, but that's to talk about things like preventing oh, more tobacco yeah. bombs from being torn down. Anyway, when we saw a collapse the, yesterday, somewhere. Oh, in the way to Montague. In Great one, of our, one of our barns, or no? No, it was in Montague. It was uh, oh, that's one of the Montague bad. barns, huh? old farm out there on uh, the road into Montague Center. Just, just, just from old age or a storm? It's, or? it's like old age and a storm. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a mess. When I, I learned from the Barnes, historic Barnes webinar, I I didn't listen to the whole thing, but I listened to part of it this spring, that the best way to preserve a barn 
if you do nothing else, is to replace the roof with something that functions as a roof. Yeah. You know, and, and that you can deal with the walls later. <laughs> you know, that was, I mean, it makes perfect water sense. Out. Yeah. No, they tend to be pretty big roofs, you'll find. Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, and I'm happy because, you know, my next door neighbor has three tobacco barns and they have, the roofs are in good shape, which mm -hmm. is super. Mm -hmm. um, I am completely free next Thursday and Friday, the 10th and 11th, if those dates work for either of you. Yeah, during the day is fine. I have a meeting uh, next Thursday night. Friday is out for me, Donna, but but Thursday morning would be good. Eleven would be fine. Okay, I'll ask I'll ask Amy for another meeting, and that will. I mean, I'm 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 voting for sooner rather than later because we have a tiny bit of momentum here. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> All right, next Thursday at ten. That sounds great. Um, next Eleven o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, I can do that. Okay. okay, and so far. thank you.